Howdy, howdy, howdy. This is Beefalo Bart here. And this is going to be a little bit different kind of video than the norm. Yes, I'm in the game, The Division, but this is not what the video is about. This is about the 7 P's. What the hell is a 7 P? It's proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. You may have heard a variation of it, but what is it? Why is it? Eh, it's just a saying, but it has a pretty good meaning to it. Proper prior planning just means, you know, if you plan correctly for something, then you are more likely to have a better outcome. All right, you're bored already. Bear with me. Okay, this video is, is a lot for me, but then again, there's a lot of people out there that are like me and in one way or another you may fit in with what this video is going to talk about and I'll try to keep it you know a brief video but again why am I making this video it's to help motivate myself and to motivate other people and hopefully it'll help somebody hopefully it'll help me uh, I mean honestly I'm not happy with my life I'm not where I wanted to be at, at this point in my life. But uh, who can fix it? Can't throw money at you know a problem to fix it if you don't have money to throw at it. So, and it's not necessarily the best way to go about things anyway. Throwing money at a problem really isn't going to solve anything. Um, so, if I'm the only one that can fix it. Well, then maybe I need to do some basic troubleshooting and try to diagnose what's actually wrong. What do I not like? What do I, you know, what where, where would I like to be? And how can I get there? And if you lack the basic motivation to do anything more than click on videos on YouTube, come on, hang with me here. Um, I've spent entire days just browsing YouTube, just browsing the internet, doing nothing productive. I have spent many, 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 many days doing nothing but looking at a video game. Yeah, surprising, huh? But you have to figure out what you want. what, And where do you want to be? What is your end goal of what you're really looking for? And once you figure out what you want, a lot of us go through the the what is well what if I would just you know you know what if I win the lottery or when I win I win the lottery you know you know if I have the lottery and you know, I have millions of dollars I can I can do this and yeah let's not break down the individual odds of one person winning a lottery jackpot okay really bad odds would I say stop playing the, uh, the lottery? Hell no. I'm going to keep playing it. Because, and here's the thing that I do quite a bit, is I'll take a lottery ticket. I'll buy it. I'll buy several of them, actually. But I'll buy a lottery ticket. And instead of watching the news whenever they call out the lottery numbers and say, hey, here's your lottery winning numbers, I don't do it. Whenever the next morning comes, most of the time, whenever I get up in the morning and do my morning routine, I don't check it then. I may not check the lottery um, numbers for a day or two afterwards. And there's a couple reasons why I don't. It's because of, well, what if I didn't? And it allows me to have the what if I did. And living the life of a dreamer, it's pretty pathetic and sad so you can't count on the what ifs what ifs are, are not going to get you there so how do you move forward if you have a lack of motivation and, and yeah you know it, how can you do it I mean if, you, if you're not a very motivated person and you don't have the the ability to quickly just fix your life and say okay I'm better now um, 
and you don't have money to throw at it, and hell, half the time you don't even know what your problem is. Um, it, it's kind of a, a simple method that you can try that is all about observation. Like, I can observe that this bicycle in this video game is locked to a pole. However, the lock isn't locking it to the pole. The lock's only going through the rim, which is not looking all that spectacular in this view. But it's locking the rear wheel to the bike, but it's not locking it to the pole, and there's no front tire. And your brake cable on the left side doesn't even connect to anything. So you can make observations like uh, there's no seat on the bicycle. Uh, you can make, you know, good visible observations, but how do you make observations in yourself to be able to figure out what the problem is? Well, instead of necessarily jumping in and immediately trying to fix a problem, especially if you can't really see what the problem is, instead, take baby steps. Small steps you can do to try to get yourself on track and it's not going to happen overnight and you really end up having to find the motivation to get motivated yeah that's freaking pointless as hell isn't it but the, the easiest suggestion especially if you're not laden with lots and lots of money we're going to assume you're broke as hell um and we'll just go from there um go to one of these dollar stores and you can get these packages of these little small memo pads, little mini notepads. They're three inches by five inches in size. They're they got lines on them. So, well, I just found one that uh, was in one of my my work boxes, and the very first thing that I opened it up to has my bank account and routing number. Lovely. We're just going to take that out of there and store that safely. But what I did was I had one I bought a three pack and one was written for home one was written for work and one was written for car and I kept them kept one at work I kept one at home and I kept one in my car naturally and anytime I had an idea or a thought and I wasn't near my computer I would actually open it up and I would you know, we keep a pen clip to them usually, and I would just write down some basic notes of where my brain was thinking and what I was thinking about. Um, by doing that, you'll have not only a written record of what you were thinking about, but whenever you do remember to actually go back and look at the damn thing, you're not trying to, well, what was it I was thinking about two days ago that was whatever. So that's a good way is by having that little notepad and being able to call that up and go through it and then transpose them over to your computer there's a reason for redundancy on this if you took the time to actually write it down in your notepad then it must have felt important to you at the time so now bring that notepad to your computer and use a simple little program that's on any windows equipped computer called notepad it's on there it's free it's in your accessories. If you can't figure out how to go there, <clears throat> yeah, I'll make another video on the basics of personal computing if I need to. But open up Notepad, and there's multiple ways of doing that. But just go in the Notepad and copy your notes down from your notebook or your little memo pad and write them down in Notepad. Type them in. Now, what's going to happen is you've already taken the time to write it down you've already taken the time now to remember that it's there you're taking the time to actually read it again now you're actually transposing it you're getting this more and more ingrained into your head of hey maybe this was a good idea now as you're writing it into notepad on the computer what's gonna happen is you're either gonna realize that you know as I'm thinking about it if I change this a little bit, this will make this better. And you can improve the flow of the idea by having written it down in more than one place and by transposing it over. You can now change it. You can make changes to that and improve upon it.
And that's one step of doing that. Now, what are some of the things you should be writing down? You know, you can just write down just basic thoughts. That's great. If you're trying to design something, then that's a great way to, to improve a product or an idea is by writing it down multiple times and making changes each time. And make sure you annotate that this is revision number or this is the date that I made this revision. That way you can keep track of it. You know, saving the file name, usually there's, um, whenever you look at the file information, it'll say when it was saved. So that's a good way of tracking chronologically your progression of thoughts. But what are some other things that you really need to, to work on is making a list. And essentially it's what I've already covered here. On the list you need to be making is what do you want? What do you want out of life? Number them. Number one, I want to be happy. Everybody should want to be happy. Um, you know, it depends on how bad your motivation or lack of motivation skills are, uh, is how detailed you need to make them. But at least start off with the what I want list. What do you want out of life? Not just in a video game. Sure, you can make a list on those too. But start with you and work from there. What do you want out of life? Okay. Now that you have a list of what you want, now close that file, open up another one, and take number one off that list. I want to be happy. Okay. Well, how can I be happy? What are the things that I want in life that will make me happy? make that list you're expanding out and making multiple lists it sounds redundant it sounds stupid but if you try it you'll probably be able to follow along with it now once you pick out one item off that list and say okay this is what I want to make my life happier how do you get it make up a list of things you can do in order to achieve that I want a new car okay so in that list what kind of car do I want I want a new or a, another Jeep Wrangler how can I make that happen and you keep breaking down the list and going that way you're gonna keep coming up with different ideas and those are great and again we need another type of list on top of that now Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. You need to plan, hopefully not for failure, but you need to plan for your success. Oh God, it sounds like some cheesy ass 90's infomercial all over again. Anyway, you know that if you want a car, you're going to need money. You're going to need some way of satisfying the debt of having that car so this is a simple thing to, to go over and how do you get that money well you're going to need a job a source of income at least how are you going to obtain the funds for that if you need to obtain a source of income then you either need a job or you need to sell your crap and then you break down how you can actually achieve the money you need to get the vehicle and then after that, you got to worry about the maintenance and so forth. But we'll move on from that. Keep making baby steps. Make your list. They're redundant. They're corny. They seem stupid. Just do it. The more lists you make, the more you keep thinking about that particular thing. And it helps to get you motivated towards wanting to get it. Um, looking over my notes here, because I actually made notes. I planned proper prior planning it doesn't always mean you're gonna prevent piss poor performance because this is a pretty crappy video isn't it shut up and listen anyway all right so with those baby steps um, they just need to be something that flows with what you're capable of doing uh, I know that I need to get my my mind in order my mind gets cluttered I know, shut up. I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking. Anyway, um, 
one of the things that I need to do is to try to get myself a bit more focused on learning and doing things. I want to learn how to build a video game. Okay, a lot of these things that I'm learning now are things that I, I know. They're common sense. They they work for me and they they flow, they work. But little things like 3D modeling. I used to be relatively good at 3D modeling and now I couldn't draw a stick man with um in in any kind of 3D environment. So I have to get back into relearning. I'm a little old to be trying to relearn new things. Bullshit. You're never too old to learn. You're never too young to learn. If you stop learning, you stop living. So, I need to dedicate at least one hour of my day. One hour. It seems like a long time or a very short time. You know, it's all relative. But, dedicate one hour of time, like for me, learning... OBS so I can make better videos. Now, currently I'm streaming because, well, all my recording software and everything else, I'm having issues between audio buzz and video quality and streaming. And there's just so many little issues going on that right now I just live stream everything because the end result is a better quality video, even if the quality inside the video sucks. Again, shut up. I'm working on it. Um, yeah, that's a great way to get more subscribers. Tell them to shut up. Yeah, shut up. Um, <clears throat> so, in that hour's time, go ahead and, here you go, make you a list. Make a list of things that you want to, as your end goal, I want to have a good video. Well, that's not likely to happen. But, how do I make a good video, and what are some elements that I can incorporate? Well, you know what? OBS, you know, the developers of OBS, if you're watching this, which I'm pretty sure you're not, you kick ass. The program itself has actually got a lot going for it, and I looked at doing all kind of different things, and what I'm going to try to do later on is actually build a an external switch panel. And no, I'm not going to buy anything commercial off the shelf because I don't have the funds for that. However, I do have broken electronics and junk laying around. I have a soldering gun. I have solder. I have somewhat the know-how. Um, right now, I'm using a couple hotkeys, but what I'm going to end up doing is creating a whole separate keyboard and trying to get it to where I don't have to run some macro program because a lot of video games, the they look for macro programs. I know um, Division right now is, is going anti-macro. So people going out there with uh, the tactical sausage and they're using the spam macro to actually make their semi-automatic guns go full auto. Like with an MDR or, you know, things like that. Cheaters suck. So I don't want to have that kind of stuff on my computer because what if the game scans and they do and they find oh he has a macro program and he's running that macro program yeah because I'm doing a live stream and I want to be able to switch between scenes or bring in an element or remove an element or mute or do whatever and I'm using that macro thing yeah I just don't want to do it so I'm going to try to figure a way of creating it so that I don't have to right now I'm using insert delete home and page up page down and those are all in one little neat little cluster and they're currently not being used by me in this game so I can hit right now page up to start streaming page down to stop streaming if I hit the home key it takes me back to my desktop or a desktop screen I need to change that scene a little bit but I'm using home and end to switch between scenes and then I'll use insert and delete for something else. I'm using the tilde key for mute. You know, right now I'm using my existing keyboard as a platform for simple hotkeys. And I'll probably end up just making it simple. I'll take some painter's tape, stick it on the, um, the actual keys, and I'll hand write what I'm trying to do with those hotkeys. There. I'm planning for a success. So with that... Take an hour and learn new features of OBS so that I can 
try to make a better quality video every time that I do a broadcast. Right now, I'm just hit or miss. I know, shut up. Um, I hit a button. And what I was having to do before was I was having to hit this so I can get a mouse cursor so that I can flop over to the other screen and manually hit the button to, to start streaming. Now, I can start with a nice close-up, not necessarily have my crotch, but a nice close-up right here and bang, hit a key. Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and I'm recording. So, I have my, my planning structure of I'm learning new features and trying to make better quality YouTube videos. Um, I have my list, and I will continue to make a list on how I can get more subscribers, more viewers, better content, and things of that nature. And one of the keys is just getting myself attuned to getting the motivation to learning the skills that I need to do in order to make a better video. All right, well, we can expand on this later on. And I will actually talk about my planning and learning and base it off of a couple different things. Like, okay, I'm going to go back to doing my video game development and I'm going to do some videos. That's all part of making the list, okay? And we'll go over that in a separate video of learning and basic skills of learning. So I hope, I hope, at least the first half of the video before I started droning on, um, I hope that you learned a little bit of something or hope you can follow along with what I was doing and trying to, to get accomplished here. And I hope that um, you can take care of the proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Follow those seven P's. And proper prior planning. Start planning your life. Try to plan to make yourself a better person. And I hope you get there. All right. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments. Please post comments. Please post comments. No troll comments, though. But just po post a comment in there saying your video sucks. Um, you know, your microphone sucks. Those are comments. Okay. I'm all right with that. I know that my equipment sucks. And uh, I know that sometimes my videos suck. Okay. If you're just going to tell me that your videos suck, at least take the time to say your videos suck because and let me know why you think they suck. Hey, that's how we learn, right? So, thumbs up, thumbs down. Reason why I'm asking for comments, thumbs up, thumbs down. Current meta right now with YouTube is if there's no activity, first off, you got to have views. People got to be watching your damn videos. But if you just watch it and just move on, meh. By leaving a comment, oh, there's activity on this video. It's a better video. Um, someone thumbs up, thumbs thumbs down. There's a you know these are things that take into account for helping me to get more views, and whenever you search for something, for this to be able to pop up. So, like, dislike, and comment, and definitely subscribe. I need to break that barrier of a minimum of 1,000. I want to get over 1,000 on subscribers. This is a new channel, not a great channel at times, but to get there, I, I need everybody's help to be able to subscribe and get me there. All right. Have a good day, and we'll see you in the next video.